Before we watch some of today's matches, let's just send our best wishes to the wrestlers of Tamanoi Stable. We wish you were here with us in the arena, and we hope you can join us very soon. Let us also pay our respects to Shobushi on the four-month anniversary of his death. That's his stable. That's the neighborhood shrine, part sponsored by the late Tai Hall. The ideal place to say thank you for all the laughter, and you'll always be remembered here. That's the closest I can get to a clear conscience before heading to the Kokugikan. I'm not sure it's the best idea to be here, but the government amazingly says it's better for me to be here than doing gig economy work. Fine, if they insist. I suppose I have to continue troubleshooting this channel and get rid of photos like these. Okay, that's a damn sight better. Oh, better still. We'll be here all night if I upload everything, so let's just go with the matches focused on by the Japanese press. Starting with this Division 2 affair between salaried newcomers Nishiki Fuji and Oki, who supersedes suspended Abi as senior man at Shikoroyama Stable. No nerves today, said Nishiki Fuji afterwards. I went for the outside grip, but the silk belt feels different to the cotton ones I'm used to, and I couldn't drive him out. Asked about his own new silk belt, he said, It's the colour that Hakuho wore when he was rising from Sekiwake to Ozeki. It's got a dark feel to it, and I've admired this colour since childhood. Asked how his recent trip home to Aomori went, he replied, Aomori is simply sumo country. Up there, they kept telling me to prove my worth and get to Division 1. On today's evidence, he's got a chance. Defeated Oki, on the other hand, bemoaned the fact he squandered some good encroachment to fall into his foe's favoured stance. Top Division debutant Toby Zaru was doubtless pleased to receive another sponsored banner from Rakugo storyteller Sanyute Enjaku, an acquaintance of mine. He was even more pleased by the way this bout turned out. I was a little bit tense, but could impose my style to the full, was the Flying Monkey's verdict. He also implied his belt colour was supposed to evoke a medical gown, and thus designed to encourage healthcare professionals in their fight against the virus. Fellow debutant Ho Shoryu went up against vastly more experienced Mongolian compatriot Ichino Jo. The giant tried to pull off exactly the same move that earned him his first top division win six years to the tournament day. But with Horshoryu's family, the bigger the throw, the harder they cling on, and often convert defense into attack. Fellow 21-year-old Koto Shoho opened his second elite level campaign against July's Division 2 champion Meisei. I have it on good authority that Kotoshoho lambasted himself for pulling rather than driving, but from my angle, I thought he used his young brain well and did a fine job. Further up the card, Ozeki hopeful Mitake Umi faced Hokuto Fuji in what was on paper a tough opener. Pretty good, I got forward well, was the Dewanumi man's verdict. I had to be fast out of the blocks this tournament. 
I think it's best I keep my Ozeki thoughts quiet, though. The absence of both Yokozuna allows newly engaged Takakesho to dream of a second tournament title. His first appearance in his new somber belt was against July champion Tedono Fuji, their first meeting in over three years. Although the rotund Ozeki said nothing afterwards, Nikan Sports opined that it was the best he'd looked going forward since January. We understand Takakesho has bought two extra large fans for his stable's training area to ensure the heat poses no threat to concentration. Terunofuji, meanwhile, claimed he was in two minds whether to clobber his opponent from the right at the Tachiai, and vowed to come back better focused tomorrow. In the final match, Asano Yama was hoping to start the charge which would lead to Yokozuna promotion come the end of the year. But opponent Endo still had the upper hand in their head-to-head. -head. Could the Ozeki secure the start he craved? I was rushing my attack too much and let Endo establish his stance. He rued after recording his first day one defeat since January last year. Asanayama insists the pressure is no bigger than the closing stages of last tournament and has vowed to reset himself for Takano Sho tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed the New Look channel. As I said, I have all the matches from today. We will be using the ones you haven't seen at a later date. Thanks for your support and see you tomorrow.